What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is a good day and it's a day we've all been waiting for. Today we're going to start uh, tearing down the cab to get it ready for paint. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to remove everything that we need to. So we're going to take the mirrors off, the badges, uh, this is the last bit of the trim that I have left. The marker lights. We're going to take the bumper off, the grill, the headlights, the marker lights. We're going to take this off. This isn't even going to go back on. I'm going to leave that off, actually. Um, antenna. Mirror over here. Uh, probably door handles. Um... This may be somewhat of a controversial subject, subject but uh, I'm not planning on removing all the window seals and removing all the glass out of it. I've already, I've, I've done the, um, I've removed the windshield before, I've removed the rear window before. You know, it's not hard, but uh, like I said initially with this project, um, I'm not looking for a show truck, so I'm just going to tape it off really good, um, get it as good as I can, and call it good. You know, I, I, I don't want to have this thing torn down so far that it just becomes a hassle to get it all back together, and it takes, you know, extra months to get it all back together, and extra long to even get it apart. So, that's the plan, is to leave all the windshields, and or the windows, and the gaskets in. Um, who knows? As you guys know with me, things change video to video. I read stuff, I, I change my mind on stuff, but for right now, the plan is to not remove that stuff. Um, another thing we'll do is remove the windshield wipers, the wiper sprayers. Um, I'll, sh I'll definitely show you guys how to remove the wipers because that's it's kind of tricky. The first time I did it, it, it was a headache. I, I think I actually ruined it, um, but now I know how to do it, so I'll show you guys how to do that. But that is going to be the goal for today. And then we'll see if we can get started into some body work on this video today too. Uh, we'll just play it by ear and see how long the video goes. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, before we start taking it apart, quick sneak peek here. If you haven't seen my videos on the external fuse block or uh, deleting the fusible links. I'll link those in the description below and have them pop up on the screen right now as well. Go check those out, definitely a modification I would recommend. So let's start tearing it down. Okay, now we're going to take the headlights out. Another plug, if you haven't seen my video on these headlights, I'll link that in the description below and I'll have it pop up on the top of the screen right now too. But these headlights are awesome for 85 bucks. So go ahead and check out that video. So let me show you how to take these power mirrors off. There's a Torx bit under there, so let's take that off real quick. So it's a T20 Torx. I've never taken these off, so I'm excited to see what's behind here. Okay, then you just kind of slide that up out of the way and then you've got a nut here and a nut here and there's one more over here. Those look like 10 millimeters. I'll go verify that. Well, what do you know? It's 10 millimeters. Okay. 
then just gently lift it off. There's kind of a gasket on here that got stuck on the threads a little bit, but it just lifts right off. And we may have to, we're going to have to pull the door panels anyway to work on some of these dents, but I think we're going to have to pull the door panel to undo the clip in there. So I'm just going to set this back on for right now. All right, for, for those of you who have never pulled the door panel off, it's pretty easy. So let me show you how. Uh, there's a screw here and a screw here. I don't have those in mind. They've never been there, so I haven't replaced them. There's one screw right here in this hole. And then you have to pull this handle out and there's a bolt on here, uh, 10 millimeter, I believe. And you take that off. So I'll take those off and then I'll catch up with you. Okay, there's that handle with the bolt. So then you'll have to take off these two right here. Also, you can already see this is the color we're going to be painting the truck. This uh, metallic silver, kind of a gunmetal silver, a little bit lighter color. Anyways, to pull this off, all you have to do most likely you're going to have a spot somewhere where one of the clips is not put in. So I would recommend starting there. I don't, so what I'm going to do... And you can see this is very common right here for this to crack. Uh, I've glued mine together, but it's, it's almost impossible not to. So just gently pull one out. And kind of work your way around and how I do it is get to one spot and just give it a quick short tug not a long tug it's not long but just a quick short tug so I'm getting right here get I have the resistance right here and right there there And there we go. So you'll see on the power windows there's these two tabs. Just kind of push them forward. And then you kind of have to manipulate that out of there. And that panel is off. So be careful. I, I had three different um tabs fall so this is what the stock tab looks like with a little kind of rubber there this is one i got to replace you can pick bags of these up at napa or on ebay um, if, if they're not gripping onto the panel well enough just grab some pliers and kind of pinch it shut just a little bit and then these just sneak right into that hole and then go through there. So, okay, now here's the plug for that mirror. So we can move this, and that's what the panel looks like off. Okay, so we unplugged it. Wiggle it off a little bit. There we go. It's off.
Okay, let's go around uh, all, ta all time lapse you on the other side since I showed you how to do it on this side. I'm going to go set this mirror in the bed. So before we move to that other side, I'll show you real quick. But here's the color we're going to be painting it. So I've already painted the inside of the doors. The jams are done even though they're pretty dirty. Uh, I did this last summer, I believe. Uh, the roof's already done, all the inside's done, so again, if I was doing the interior and the exterior, I'd probably pull the windows just to make it easier, uh, but because we're just doing the exterior, um, we're not going to pull the windows out. So anyways, there's a, pic there's a view of what, it's, what color it's going to be. I'm going to show you guys something. This is kind of cool that, I don't know, maybe you guys don't see these where you're at, but... That's an ultralight. Give you a little view. That thing seems a little low to me. There it goes. He made it. That's the back patio. What's up guys? It is the next day. Um, I didn't realize this, but my uh, camera battery died while I was taking that passenger side mirror off, but you guys saw the driver's side. So we got that all off. Um, and that's good to go so what we need to do is get the antenna off the bumper off this badge and this molding off and the marker lights so we'll do that real quick and then we're going to start working on this thing i've got a video on my channel i'll link it above right now of how to take this molding off i'm going to see if mine comes off with this place. And then this front piece of molding, and I mentioned this in the video, uh, has two kind of plastic nuts on the inside of the fender. So I'll undo those and then pull it off. So it's taped and it's got those nuts on there. And then usually, uh, you know, if it's a single cab, this back piece will have the same thing. If it's a, an extended cab, it usually has that too. So. That's what they look like, just uh, I think it's plastic, it might be metal, but it just just, uh, just kind of holds it on there snugly, it doesn't go on very tight. They're half inch as well, I was using a crescent wrench and that was going slow, so I got a half inch socket. So when you're taking these marker lights off, be careful because these little studs are only plastic and they'll break off. So if you over tighten these when you put them back on, it'll snap them off. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the bumper. So on the outside, there is a bolt right here, a nut, sorry, and then there's one up here. So it's kind of a an awkward spot to get in there, um, but it's definitely doable. My recommendation is take the top ones off first and then get the bottom ones loose and you know have someone come help you or prop the bumper up so it doesn't fall right on your belly. So I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'm trying to see what size bolts they are, 9 16 maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I'll let you guys know. One second. All right, guys, we got the bumper off. I gotta say, this tool right here is a lifesaver for that. 
uh, with the awkward spot it's in, this helps a ton. So I've actually got a link to this in the description below, but you can find them anywhere. So definitely worth it. And they were 11 16 nuts on there. All right, guys, I found something else I want to take off too. So I'm going to take these headlight housings out. Um, there's one, two, and three uh, 10 millimeter bolts on the back side. There's, you can see one right there, one down there, and then there's one over there. So those are easy to take off. And then I'm going to take this lower valance off as well, um, just so we can. You know, I'm not going to paint inside the engine compartment, but I'll at least get uh, this front, the core support. So I'm going to do that real quick. It's pretty straightforward, so I'll show you how to do that. All right, that is that. Got this out for those because I could get at them at a better angle. Just zipped them right out. So in order to get the antenna off, you just need, I think it's just a 10 millimeter. Mine's not even on there very tight. Take that off and then I'm probably just gonna actually leave this on here and just tape around it. Um, if I was pulling the fenders, I would probably uh, undo it from the other side, but it's a pain in the butt to get uh, in through there. So we'll probably just tape that part off. So, Alrighty guys, we've got it torn down as far as I wanted at this point. Um, another thing we're going to do in this process is loosen all the fender bolts from the core support. Um, loosen the hood hinges, kind of loosen the whole front clip. It's not aligned perfectly. And so we're going to try and get that all aligned perfect. Uh, the gap's a little bit bigger over here than it is on this side. Let's see, right there. And then uh, I think that's also caused this little gap here in the driver's side door. So we're going to try and get that all lined up better. We've also got a uh, put in new uh, spacers right here. So those are hockey pucks. If you saw my other video of pulling the bed off, uh, I did that in Alaska and hockey pucks were the only thing I could get up there because uh, no one would ship a kit of body, you know, body spacers. So we're going to pull those out and replace them with uh, urethane spacers. So Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. We just hit 750 subscribers, which to me is crazy. Um, but things are growing. I, I love all your comments. I love the support you guys show me, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. Uh, make sure to spread the word. Share my videos everywhere you need to. If people are asking questions about stuff that I've done, uh, that really helps the channel grow. We'll see you guys in the next video, though.